Okay guys, so this is going to be a quick review over um, some things dealing with circles. Some of this you've seen before since like 6th, 7th, 8th grade. Uh, and some of it is going to be a little bit new to you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start by doing is finding the area of a circle. So the area of a circle is pi r squared. So in these examples, we're going to find the area of the circle. So area is equal to pi r squared. Remember, the radius of the circle extends from the center of the circle out to the edge, okay? Out to the, um, the circle itself, okay? So, 12 inches squared, 12 squared is equal to 144, and area units are inches squared. And don't forget your pi. Oop, let me rewrite that. We're not gonna forget our pi. Now, I really don't care if you, um, Put it in the calculator or leave it in terms of pi it's up to you okay next one area is equal to pi r squared and um your radius is nine in this example nine squared is 81 so this is 81 pi inches squared now if i'm given that the area of a circle is 400 centimeters squared find the radius of the circle so Area is equal to pi r squared. Say 400 is equal to pi times the radi uh, radius squared. Now to solve for r, we're going to divide both sides by pi. And to get rid of a squared, we are going to uh, take the square root of both sides. So that's our r. Okay. Now we don't have plus or minus because we have measurements, so we can't have negative measurements. Now if you wanna put this one in the calculator, just show you how to do it. Square root of 400 divided by pi, make sure you use the pi key, uh, is 11.284. And make sure we're gonna write our units, we're in centimeters. Okay, so square units are always area units. A uh, circumference of a circle is also known as the perimeter of the circle. Um, if you see the word periphery, it pretty much means the same thing. A uh, circumference is equal to 2 pi r, or pi times the diameter, depending on um, what you're given. Okay, so find the circumference of the following circles. Circumference is equal to 2 pi r. So 2 pi, your radius is 4.2. 2 times 4.2 is 8.4 pi, and we're going to be in yards, okay? So circumference is a distance, so you're in a linear unit, okay? Next one. So if we want to find the circumference of the circle that has 6.2 miles, 2 pi r, 2 pi times 6.2. So your circumference is going to be 12.4 pi. That's gonna be miles, okay? Symbol for miles is mi. Um, next one, find the circumference of a circle whose area is 144 pi inches squared. Okay, so we're given the area. So area is equal to pi r squared. Your area is 144 pi is equal to pi times r squared. You have pi's on both sides of the equation, so we're going to cancel them. We get 144 is equal to r squared. To get rid of the squared, we're gonna square root both sides, so r is equal to 12. Now, the question asks, find the circumference of the circles. So c is equal to two pi r. So we're just gonna plug in our 12, and we get, sorry, 24 pi and we're going to be in inches. Okay, next one says find the area of the circle given that the circumference is 150 meters. Okay, so circumference is equal to two pi r. We're gonna take 150 is equal to two pi r. We're gonna solve for r. So r is gonna be 150 divided by two pi. Now, 
Let's talk about putting this in the calculator if we put this in the calculator. Whenever you divide by a number in pi in the calculator, you gotta make sure you use parentheses on the bottom. If not, you're gonna get the wrong answer. So you can put it in there like that, or you can do 150 divided by two, hit enter, then divide by pi. Okay, so you should get the same answer. Uh, if you don't do it that way, you're gonna get the wrong answer. So make sure you do it the correct way. So we get 23.873. Okay, and that's going to be meters. Now it says find the area. So area is equal to pi r squared. So um, da, 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 your radius is 23.873 squared like that. So we're gonna do 23 0.873 squared times pi, and you should get 1790.457. And we're gonna be meters squared because we're looking for area. You could also do it in terms of pi. If you want to square this out, um, you're gonna get a really large number. Um, just letting you know. So uh, either way, however you wanna do it, it's fine with me. Okay, area of a sector. So when we talk about a sector, a sector is like a slice of the pie of the circle. Okay? Uh, it extends from a central angle, okay? And your radius uh, is pretty much always given with this stuff. Now, the area of a sector is one half r squared theta. Now, the important thing about this is your theta, is your central angle, has to be in radians, okay? So remember that we said that there was 360 degrees to two pi radians. So if you have to convert, you have to convert, okay? So let's find the area of the sectors. So A is equal to one half R squared theta. So we have a radius and our degrees is 60 degrees, but we have to make sure we get it to radians. So we'll go out to the side and we'll do 60 degrees over one. There's 360 degrees to two pi radians. Okay, and we're gonna put that in the calculator if we need to. And we're gonna leave, leave it in terms of pi, so we should get pi over three. Okay, remember, we just do 60 times two and we divide it by 360. And we're gonna change that to a fraction. We're gonna leave the pi alone, okay? So we get pi over three. So the area of this sector is one half times 10 squared times pi over three. Okay, 10 squared is 100, 100 divided by two is 50, so it's 50 pi over three. Uh, and we're going to be in inches squared. If you want to do it in the calculator, and get an actual number. We get 52.360. Uh, okay, next example problem. So our angle is given in radian, so we're good to go. We don't have to convert anything. So area is equal to 1 half r squared theta. Your radius is 14, and that's your angle, 17 pi over 12. Okay, so 14 squared is 196, I believe. Yep, divide that by two. Um, I'm gonna multiply it by 17 and divide it by 12. And so I get 833 over six pi. If you want to just put that in the calculator uh, and get decimal, 14 squared divided by 2 times 17 pi over 12, you get 436.158. Uh, and we are in yard squared. Okay. 
and just checking this 833 pi divided by six. Yep, same answer. Okay, last one on this page. Uh, it says find the radius of a sector given that the area is 27 centimeters squared and has a central angle of 30 degrees. So area is equal to one half r squared theta. Your area is 27, one half. We're looking for the radius and your central angle is 30 degrees. Now we need to make sure that we are in radians. So we do our little conversion, 30 degrees over one, 360 degrees to two pi radians. Now knowing from our trig chart, we know that 30 degrees is equal to pi over six radians. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna solve for R right here. Um, so it's probably a little bit easier to do in the calculator, I'll do it without. So. We gotta get rid of the one half, so we're gonna multiply both sides by two. So you get 54 is equal to r squared times pi over six. Okay, to get rid of the pi over six, we're gonna multiply by the reciprocal. So 54 times six is uh, 324. So we get 324 over pi is equal to r squared. So r comes out to be the square root of 324 over pi. Now, if we do it in the calculator, uh, the way I would have done it is I would have just did 27 times two divided by parentheses pi over six, and then I'm gonna square root it. So I get 10.155. And that should be centimeters. So just confirming that I got the same answer. Same answer, okay. Okay, let's talk about arc length. So arc length is the measure of the circumference for just a slice of the pie, okay? Same notion that we have to make sure that we are in radians whenever we um, do arc length. So the formula is S is equal to R theta. Like that. Okay, so in this example, we have an angle of 315 degrees. So we need to make sure that we convert that to radians. So 315 degrees over one, 360 degrees to two pi radians. Okay, so we know that this is going to be, what, seven pi over four, I believe. Math, enter, enter. So we should get seven pi over four. Okay, your radius is gonna be eight centimeters. So the arc length of this is going to be 14 pi. And we are in centimeters. Okay, so arc length is a length measurement, so it's gonna be one unit. Um, it's gonna be a linear unit, sorry. Next one. We're gonna do the arc length, S is equal to R theta. And uh, our radius is 13 feet. Our angle is given as three pi over four. We're in radians, so we don't have to convert anything. Oops, sorry, I keep hitting my camera. So 13 times three is 39 pi over four. And we're going to be in you want to put in the calculator and get decimals that's fine with me uh, make sure you know this form of this form shows up on SAT as long as um, you're doing SAT uh, also the area of the circle shows up and circumference so you need to make sure you know those formulas they don't teach it this way because this is technically like a, um, a pre-cal concept they teach it proportions but you need to make sure that you know how to convert between degrees and radians and also using this S is equal to R theta. Okay, last one, it says, given that the arc length of a portion of a circle is 2.5 inches and it has a radius of two inches, find the measure of the central angle in radians and degrees. So S is equal to R theta. It says that the arc length is 2.5 pi. We're looking 
for theta, and that's two. Okay, so I'm gonna solve. So I get theta comes out to be, so 2.5 divided by two is going to be five fourths. So this is five pi over four. And that's in radians. Now, if I wanna convert that degrees, remember that five pi over four radians over one, there's two pi radians and 360 degrees. So the pi's will cancel. We're gonna multiply 5 fourths times 360 divided by two, and you get 225 degrees. Okay, so um, this is a good little geometry review. I tried to, I've tried. i been trying to incorporate more and more uh, SA2 review material so you actually see it. Uh, and don't forget it. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and have a good afternoon.